And for this drawing I'm going to be using a dip pen. So these are one of those uh, pens where you dip your nib into ink which then retains a well of colour. I'm using an acrylic ink and I'm using a sepia ink. So one of the beauties of using a dip pen is that the nib is touch sensitive. In other words, as I start to draw, the line quality will vary according to my pressure. One is kind of using a similar kind of approach to partial peak drawing. One's consciously thinking carefully across the figure. Thinking about the spaces between things. Obviously these pens are based on gravity for their performance so in this instance I need to hold the nib downwards because I'm drawing vertically. Different inks behave in different ways. The acrylic inks and traditional Indian ink, when dry, are both waterproof, which means that you can work washes into your drawing without losing the original line quality. If you draw with a fountain pen, or you use a fountain pen type ink in a dip pen, then that ink is water soluble. So it will break up and dissipate into washes that you put onto your drawing. Obviously one can also work much more expressively and sometimes drawing without recharging can mean that you can begin to build a certain amount of kind of thinking drawing into your work. a sort of interplay between definite lines and indefinite lines it can be quite exciting to, to explore. As I said in a previous video, when you're drawing in line, if a line's in the wrong place the eye is incredibly forgiving and your brain will seek out the correct line. So don't worry if things have gone in the wrong place simply just redraw. Use the previous line to help inform the new line to help you make the right decision.
are you drawing with ink? Uh, 